All right, joining us now, Texas Congressman Wesley Hunt. Wesley Hunt, it's great to see you. We have a great picture of you and Byron Donalds uh, smoking Havana cigars and a little Remy Martin cognac. Yeah. I think we're going to put it up on the full screen. <laughs> I love that stuff, by the way. Yeah. Uh, there they are, a lot of style. And uh, you're in Philadelphia, uh, kind of taking on the black establishment, as I understood it. And I guess the, crit the, the controversy here, and I want to get your take on it because it's so interesting, is that all the New Deal great society spending, particularly great society, did a lot to, um, to cause family breakup and uh, make people dependent on the government instead of the family, fatherless families, and so forth and so on. Can you just talk to that a little bit and, and what that might mean for a Trump presidency or a Trump campaign? Absolutely. Well, Byron and I were in Philly because we are bravely going where no Republicans have gone have gone in the past, and that is going to these communities and bringing the conservative message to the black community. Because what we do know is this, is that black issues are American issues. Mm -hmm. And in that conversation, it was a very nuanced conversation that I had with Byron uh, amongst a, a, a group of proud black people that won our country back. And we were talking about the past, and we were talking about the nuance of the past and the idea of how do we get our family back. How do we get a two-parent system and a two-parent home back in the black community? Because that's when we were the most successful. And what we do know is that economics is where this whole thing begins. We need economic prosperity back in our community, and we had that under President Trump, who were certainly headed in the right direction. The last four years have been a complete disaster for black, brown, and all American people. And so we were having a very nuanced conversation amongst the black crowd, the smoke of cigars, having some cognac, and I tell you what, we're going to take this message all across the country and other cities just like it, because it's important for Republicans like Byron and I to explain to, the, to our community and to America why uh, Republican issues, why conservative issues are American issues, there are black issues. We are all in this boat together, and the rising tide raises all boats. I mean, look, business opportunity and business investment and small business ownership by any whites or blacks or Hispanics, it's got to be better than dependency on the state. I mean, the problem was LBJ is great society, and Biden is trying to raise that to the 20th power. Uh, that was statism. That was welfareism. That wasn't uh, small businesses. That didn't help anybody. And there was a lot of family breakup, it seems to me. You know, Thomas Sowell, the great economist, wrote about this. Jason Riley writes about it in the Wall Street Journal all the time, distinguished, uh, you know, black columnists and so forth. They know him very well. I mean, Trump's a guy who will provide opportunities and tax cuts and uh, enterprise zones and deregulation so that a small business can be bought and or owned uh, by the minority community, which has got to be better than uh, living off the state. That's correct. And because of welfare in that time, uh, Democrats replaced the man in the black home a long time ago with the government. Mm -hmm. And we have got to reverse that. Just earlier, you were talking about tax cuts. Tax cuts are good for everyone. Mm. Uh, hyperinflation that we're seeing right now is bad for everyone. So the message is this. What can we do over the course of the next four years to reverse the curse of Biden's economy? And that is elect President Trump. And you know what we know? Byron and I know that if we can get 25 to 30 percent of the black male vote, that mm. mathematically Democrats can't win. Mm. But something I saw there that night, too, Larry, was this. There were black women that were there, too, mm. that were also very receptive to our message. And I think we have to understand as a community and as a people and as Americans that a strong economy, low taxes, not being dependent on the government is great for us. And President Trump can deliver that through more economic prosperity for the future. It's a great message, Congressman Wesley Hunt. Really, it's a great message. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Good luck on the campaign trail.